Hello, everyone, it's Mandy P14. Welcome to a brand new video. So, today, for some reason, you guys like a tier list. And if I'm very honest, I love a tier list. So, my last tier list was, in fact, the alcohol tier list. I didn't think that was going to do anything numbers wise. I just made it because I wanted to make it. And now, I feel like I've done an injustice. I put beer quite high up. And that's that's wrong of me because there's so many different beers that it really depends on what you have. Today, I will be doing the beer tier list. Now, this does include a couple of ales. I've, I've just got this one online. This is the first. UK based one. This is going to be what you can buy in any British store. I don't want to make this video long. There's no point. I'm just going to skim through it and we're going to find out what I like, where I put it. Again, this is just my opinion. If you like something which I've put in bottom tier, good for you. Keep drinking it, but it's just not my thing. Okay. Let's have a look at the tiers. Starting at the top, we have for breakfast. Now, what I mean by this is I drink it with my, with my full English. Wake up at 8 a.m. Down a pint. They're that good. They taste that good. That I'd happily have it at any time of the day. I could drink as much of it as I want. Oh, it's beautiful. Next category is all night. You see, for me personally, there's very few beers I can spend all night on because they start to weigh you down a bit. They start to, you know, they get a bit heavy on you. So all night is quite a big thing for me. It's not my perfect style of beer, but it's very good and I'm happily drink it anytime. Next up is it's all right. For example, if you're a pub and they, they sell a few beers and you see this one, you're probably going to pick it. If, if there's not any ones that are above, you're not going to kind of sneer at it. It's fine. It's good. Next up is rather not. So you might not pick it. Obviously, if you're in a pub and it's the only one they have, you'd probably have one or two and that'd be fine. If your friend bought you one, you'd drink it. It's okay, but you wouldn't really choose it. Last one, pass it on. Now, I don't say this for very much alcohol at all. You don't waste alcohol. Hence why we pass it on. This is the beer where if you don't like it, Hopefully someone around you will like it and you can pass it on to them. Finally, there is a couple of beers here, which I will admit I haven't tried. I know very unprofessional. This is the not a scoop category. Let's get into the tiers. First on the list is in fact Guinness. People say Guinness puts hairs on your chest. Well, I don't really want hairs on my chest. I had one the other night and I'd had a few before. So I happily finished it. I certainly don't imagine myself walking into a pub and asking for a Guinness. It's very thick, very heavy, very creamy. It looks the most beautiful of all the pints in the world. It's just black. Then it's got this lovely like beige cream head. Oh, I think it, you more grow into a Guinness. But who knows? Maybe, maybe in a few years, I'll love a Guinness. It'll be my go-to. Personally, for me, I'd rather not have a Guinness. But if someone gave it to me, can't complain. Can't complain at all. Next is a Stella. Now, for legal reasons, I can't put it any higher than it's all right. I'm joking, of course. Yes, it's known as the wife beater. However, the taste is okay. It's, it's all right. It's fine. You would order it at a pub if that's kind of the best they got. I wouldn't personally go out to the shop and buy one if I was going to go through a, a pack. I wouldn't really choose it. It's quite heavy. It's strong. So if you want to get really drunk, stellar it is. But, you know, they, I feel like there's better options for that. It's, 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 it's okay. It's all right. There's, there's not much to say about it. London Pride. Can't say I've actually had it. I think I've heard of it. I can't guarantee. It's just not, not what I see about. Heineken. I could, I could back a Heineken all night. It's not, it's not the creme de la creme, but it's very good it's very good i prefer it over a stellar every day and you get it in the green bottles a bottled beer is so much better than a canned beer i don't know why i don't get it uh, you just feel more refined i don't know i don't know i love a canned beer but i love a tinny john smith's originally would be pass it on recently i went to weatherspoons and they had 99p ale and if i'm honest i'd rather not have it again but for 99p it was okay again rather not i'd rather not pick it if it was full price but at that price you can't really say no next up is amstel I wouldn't say it's an all nighter, but I, I like an Amstel. I don't mind an Amstel. Amstel tastes good, feels good. It's all right. It's all right. Bex, I feel like, is and it's all right. If you went to a party, someone brought a case of Bex, Amstel, Stella, I'll happily take one if they offer it to me. I wouldn't necessarily pick them over a Heineken, maybe. Mm, Heineken, I'm a little bit debating. It's, it's lower all night tier. But Bex, it's fine. It tastes all right. It's good, but not my choice. Despite selling... Newcastle Brown Ale. For a year of my life, I've never actually tried it. I don't really have that big of attention of trying it. I don't know, I just don't have an appeal to the colour. <laughs> it's weirdly brown. Beer and Moretti. That's an all-nighter. That's, that's, that's decent. I love a bit of Moretti. Again, it's not the top tier, but Moretti is decent. I, I'll back a Moretti happily. Very, very gladly, very glad. I don't know why. I haven't had a lot of these in quite a while because I haven't really been out. You know, lockdown and whatnot. So I'm just going off memory and Moretti. It's a spot. Budweiser. For now, I'm going to put it as a top tier all night. So it's very much edging on the for breakfast. This is because you can get a bottle of Budweiser. You can stick a straw in it, bend the top, and that's gone in one. Budweiser is very easy to drink. 
I can't tell you why. I don't know why. It tastes okay. It tastes good. It's not the best tasting one in the world, but it just does the job. I don't know. I can go through an entire pack with reasonable ease, whereas, for example, something like Stella, it's a lot harsher. So you're struggling to go for a big old pack of tins. Carlsberg is a rather not. Okay, those green tins that are very cheap, I can't. I can't get excited over Carlsberg. It doesn't taste very nice and it's not strong enough for me to kind of want to spend that much time drinking it. It just doesn't taste nice for me. I don't know. And it's always out of the tins and I don't know. It's cheap and I appreciate that, which is why it's not in the pass it on. But it just, for me, I'd rather not. If you're really offering it to me, I'll have it. It, it. It's okay with some lemonade, but most of these are. It's just not my kind of type. Soul. I, love, I like a soul. I like a soul. It's very fresh, very summery, very enjoyable. Get it in the bottles. It's banging. It's banging. There, there's, there's not much more to say. That's it. Hobgoblin. I should have tried it, but I haven't. I don't know why. I want to try it one day. Soon. I'll, I'll get some soon. Fosters. I drink Fosters a lot. However, I'm going to put it in the all right. I drink Fosters a lot because it's what they sell a lot around here. And it's very refreshing. In terms of all of these, it's certainly at the top. However, I understand that it might not be the tastiest in the world. In fact, Heineken is coming down because I prefer Foster's to Heineken. And I prefer Soul and Budweiser in that order. This is the literal order I prefer these all in. So Foster's, I don't know, it's fresh. It's quite, it's not summery, but it's a lot fresher. It's a lot lighter. It goes well with food. It's, it's all right. It's fine. It's just okay. Doombar. I love a Doombar. A lot of people haven't tried Doombar. Very very nice. It's an ale, so I'm, I'm not going to rank it in the same way that I'm ranking a lot of these beers because you don't really drink ales all night. However, I could happily have it for breakfast with my toast or cereal because it tastes that good. It's it's very nice. It's very good. It's very refreshing. A lot of places don't sell it. I love Abdoombar. I'll back a new bar any day. Tisky. I haven't really had much. I've tried a couple, but it's it's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to rank it any higher because I've not experienced it that much, but I have t tasted it. Cronenberg, all night, I'd say. I'd say, mm, nah, Cronenberg. Cronenberg, Cronenberg's all right. It's, it's all right. It's upper end of all right. It tastes good. It does good. No, it doesn't. None of these do any good. But it's it's quite, it's in this kind of, it's all right section, it's kind of hard to differentiate them because without having them on hand, I understand that they taste different, but it's kind of hard to work out how different. All of these beers in the middle kind of, they don't taste the same. They, they have very distinct tastes, but in my mind, kind of, they're all very much level in rank. Brony up there, decent. Brony, the only problem with Brony is it's very expensive. Very expensive. Apart from that, I'm happy with Brony. Brony is, is pretty, pretty, pretty naughty. Estrella. Now there's two Estrellas here, and I'm not really sure why. So one of them is going to represent all of Estrella. And it's going to go there. I, I appreciate a good Estrella. Again, it's not, it's not my go-to. If it's there, I'll happily have it. That on draft, lovely, as well as Foster's, lovely. They're kind of the go-to drafts if the rest aren't there. Fairly cheap, it's not too expensive. Just makes me feel good inside, you know? You know, like a good beer should. San Miguel, bang, bang. San Miguel's my beer. That's the one. I don't know why. It's fairly cheap. It's strong. I had it when I went on a holiday and I started drinking beer ever since. It's kind of stuck with me. That is my go-to. If I see a pint, I'll have a San Miguel. I don't know why. To me, it doesn't really taste that different to other beers, but for some reason, it's just my go-to and it just it just edges it slightly. I don't know why. I, I have no reason for thinking any of this, but I just do. This beer list, in my opinion, doesn't make much sense to me, but alas, we move forward. Carling is a certain rather not okay it's it's very kind of nearing on pass it on i'm just not a fan it's it's not great it's not not the bee's knees there always has to be something in each category and for me pass it on would be bud light it's not here on the list at the moment i haven't added it but bud light whoever thought that was a good idea is meant i don't get it i don't understand it it's really cheap but it's really weak not for me not for me you can keep it i don't want it no thanks finally love me some corona a absolutely beautiful you sit in the sun, sipping a Corona. Oof. Now you're talking. Now you're talking my language. Now we're on the same wavelength. Okay, we are. We are serious about this. Okay, Corona. It's so fresh. It's so light. It's so easy to drink. You put a bit of lime in it. Oh my God! Now you're onto something. You're you're really talking. <laughs> All right. Enough of my waffling about beer. This is my uh, legitimate tier list. I'm very happy with it actually. Uh, I've done it all in one go, and I think represents it fairly well <laughs> hey i'm doing pretty well for these these four videos in four days so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please do be like and subscribe and i'll be your mad deep before team if you want to see more tier lists suggest them below don't forget to subscribe we're we're banging it at the moment i'm loving it i'm loving it so yeah thank you guys and
So yeah. Bitch, I keep the hatchet on. I'm a fucking bastard. Uh. Yeah. Disappear like magic. Uh. Get play dates with cash, but yo. Mm. Bitch, I keep the hatchet on. I'm a fucking mm. bastard. Uh. Kill you fucking maggots. Uh. My head spinning backwards. Yo. Hatchet for a nigga like porno. Ayy. Y'all niggas spin like it's dorsal. Ayy. 